everybody, it's Sammy Terry here, and um, I guess I'm just wanting to give you an update video. So I know it's been a long time since I actually put anything on my channel. Um, I always get these random YouTube comments of people that actually found my videos, and they're like, oh, this was great, when are you going to do another one? Or, wow, I love the way you read this, can I share this on blah? And I'm just like, sure, okay, yeah. A lot of the time, uh, since I actually stopped making videos, I kind of forget I have a YouTube channel, and I've mostly been focusing on my gaming blog, which of course you can always find on my outro to my videos, at least my newer ones. Um, and so I've been focusing on my gaming blog, to which I want to say thank you so much for everybody that has moved from my YouTube channel and has checked out my gaming blog. The other day I was woken up by a notification that says, wow, your stats are booming, and I had over 78 visitors within a span of an hour. Just checking out my different videos. Now, if you don't already know what I write about, <laughs> if you're on my YouTube channel, you should know. Um, but in case you ran across this by accident, I blog about video games. I do gaming reviews, I do gaming discussions, I talk about events coming up, DLCs, indie games, things on Steam, free to play, anything. Anything that I'm interested in that has to do with video games, I cover in my blog. Um, so I've been focusing more on that since I stopped making videos and it's actually been going really well. And so I'll continue to do the blogs. Um, they're not as steady as they used to be. Um, I tend to get sidetracked, but yeah, occasionally I'll post something and, and when I do, people tend to like it. So going back to the original subject of my YouTube channel, there were some people that basically asked me, why have you stopped making videos? And the thing is, um, <laughs> I didn't want to stop making videos. This wasn't something that I chose to do. Um, basically what happened is I was using a program called Camstasia Studios. It's actually very popular. Um, people used to basically cheat the system and what they would do was they would use the trial version which would last for a month and then after the month was up they would just come up with a new email, get another trial version, and they would use it like that. Well I was doing that for a while and then a friend of mine actually bought Camstasia. So he bought Camstasia Studios, which was really good, and it allows you to have it on multiple devices. So he said, hey, I really don't use my Camstasia anymore. Would you like it? And I was like, yeah, sure, that's great, because I use it all the time, I'm tired of making new emails. And so he gave me his confirmation code, and I was able to use it to have Camstasia Studios. Which, I love the program, I love the way that it runs, I love the way it layers everything, it's not buggy, not generally, and it's like, I just figured it was, you know, the best for me because of how smooth it runs, versus my AVS video editor, which is now what I have to use. Um, but basically Camstasia updated, and it no longer allowed me to use the program with my friend's code because it didn't recognize my IP address as his IP address. And so it basically told me that I was a false user and it closed me out. And then when I went to go get a trial version, it said that my IP had been used before to get a trial version. So even with a new email, I could no longer use Camstasia Studios. Which really sucks. Um, so basically Camstasia was a no-no. I don't have the $300 or whatever it costs. It's like $200, $300. I don't have that amount of money to go spend it on this program. And also the program actually did slow down my computer quite a bit. Um, so there was that problem. Now I'm back to using ABS a video editor. Now the problem with ABS was at first I couldn't understand what was happening. My video would record at a faster pace than the audio. Audio was normal, but the video would just speed through it like nobody's business. So the audio's going a good 10 minutes after the video's already end ended, because my character's like, ah, it's like everybody was on crack. It was ridiculous. Um, and I couldn't figure out what was happening, so I played around with the settings, and it turns out that every time I record something, it was recording it in an FLV format, and I needed to record it in an AVI format instead. And so now every time I record, I have to remember to change it to AVI, otherwise it goes to FVL or FLV or whatever, and then everybody's on track. <laughs> um, and my videos, I can't make them match up. Um, if you remember, if, for those that have been with my channel since the beginning, when I was doing Legend of Zelda and all that other stuff, um, I think I did A Link to the Past, or no, not that. But uh, anyways, I did a Legend of Zelda game and Link's, Aw Link's Awakening is what it was. And I was playing that game and I couldn't 
get the sound to match up. So basically what happened was I downloaded the entire soundtrack to my computer and I literally manually put together all the tracks based on what location I was at and it was just it was terrible the video quality was terrible everything with it was terrible and it was just it was a mess and um, so I actually stopped doing that and the same thing happened with Final Fantasy Adventure or Final Fantasy Legend uh, whatever it's called the game that I hate the most um, Basically, that was the same thing that was happening. I had to download the soundtrack, try and piece it together, and it was a nightmare. So, now that I don't have Camstasia, I'm back to using AVS, but now that I have fixed the issue of AVI versus FVL, or FLV, whichever one it is, I can actually start recording again. The only problem with my recordings now is that mm, AVS does not record audio, like my audio as in my microphone. So as I'm playing, I cannot react to the games and leave commentary as I normally would. Because normally when you're playing a game and you're doing a YouTube thing, you're playing it and you're reacting as you play it. So when something pops out, you go, oh shit, you know? And you're, you're, you're scared. That's something that you do. You're scared, something popped out at you. But what I have to do is I have to play the game, have that moment where I go, oh shit, but it's not recorded on here. And then I have to go back into my editor, sit there and watch myself play the game, and I'm like, okay, now I'm turning this corner. Oh no, that scary thing popped out. Totally didn't know that that was gonna be there. You know, it's hard to make a genuine reaction when I'm playing something, because now I already know what's gonna happen. I already played it. I already know what's gonna happen. Unless, by chance, it happens to scare me again. Um, and another thing that's been happening that I've been experiencing is that when I'm using ABS, it'll let me record for like maybe five minutes, maybe less. It'll I'll record my voice for like maybe three to five minutes, and then it'll then my video will freeze. And so I don't know. So it keeps recording my voice, but it's not showing me the video play. And so it's like, I don't know what's happening. So I could keep talking while it's on a frozen screen of wherever it left off. And I'm just like, well, I hear noises, but I don't know what's going on. So blah, 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 blah. Let's, let's pretend like I'm playing this game. Or like what I've been doing, I literally have to stop the audio, restart it again, which then restarts the video. And so I have chunk after chunk after chunk after chunk of audio that I'm recording. So literally, if I'm making a 45 minute video, I have to make nine different video or audio clips of me reacting to this game. And then if one of them's off, I would have to go back and hope that I can change it. Or if there's this awkward silence, I'm just gonna have to redo the whole thing. And uh, it's, just, it's a mess. So videos now take me a lot longer to make because I now have that extra process. It used to be that with Camstasia, I would do the audio and the video at the same time while I was recording so that when I went into my video editor, they were on two separate lines for me already. My audio was on the bottom, the video was on the top, the video had the in-game stuff while my audio was separate, and I could just level them out. Now what's happening is I have a video, then I have to go put it in the creator, so I have to record the video, put it in the creator, add in audio, do, then do the leveling, then I'll add all the extra stuff, then add the transitions, and it's just, it's a nightmare. Um, so yes, I am still doing videos. They are taking me a lot longer than expected, which hopefully I'll have a new one done by tomorrow. Um, those two take up a lot of space in my computer, so that's been an issue. And luckily this video doesn't really take much editing because I'm doing all this on my webcam so that I can just take it um, and that's another thing that AVS doesn't do. AVS does not record webcam. Therefore, I can't show my face on my videos anymore, which for some of you, that might be a good thing. But for me, not so much. There's some things that I like showing my reaction more than I like saying my reaction. Because when I'm playing a game, I tend to get a little monotone. And it's not, I'm not normally monotone. I actually speak in many different pitches because that's just how I normally talk. But when I'm playing a game, I'm just so focused that I tend to just kind of talk in the same voice throughout the whole thing. And the same tone and the same pitch and the same rhythm. So when I'm playing these games, 
some of these, it's essential that you see my face so that when I'm frustrated, you see me go, you know, and when I think something's like ridiculous, I'm like, <laughs> you know, it's like, for me, the expressions are necessary in order to create that experience for you so that you can see that I'm very frustrated or that I'm having a good time playing a game. Because sometimes I'll be like, oh, or I'll be playing and I'll be like, yay! And I, I really want, you know, that to kind of be, you know, a show for you guys, a little side thing. Of course, most of my older videos has me like, playing a game and it's just it's not attractive but now I have a desk and before I didn't have a desk but now I do and this see that's what ticks me off now I have a desk but now I can't have webcam so what are you gonna do um so videos are still coming out they are taking a lot longer and as far as which video games I'm playing uh, I have yet to be a game on my channel because I get sidetracked and I get stuck, and there were other things. The farthest I've ever gotten in a video game was with Final Fantasy, the first one. And you guys liked the series, and I got all the way up to the freaking upgrades, and then my emulator decided to delete my data like a douchebag. And so, <laughs> literally what happened was I lost everything. So now my characters are back at level, now they're level 10, maybe level 11. It's like, now my characters are level 10, and I'm literally trying to work my way back up to where I was before, so that I can play Final Fantasy for you guys from where we were, which means me reading the guide and doing all that crazy stuff all over again, probably not even having the same weapons or anything like that, which I probably need to write all that down. And it's just, it's a nightmare. Literally a nightmare. <laughs> um, so I stopped playing that game because obviously once your data gets deleted, you're very distressed. And knowing that I put so much work into that series and then it all got deleted, it kind of crushed me and it made me not want to touch the game again. But if anything, I do want to beat Final Fantasy 1. Um, Lunar Legend, I think it's the actual game code itself, like the game copy. I feel like there's something in it that's causing it to be corrupted to where it's like glitchy and awful. Um, I do want to continue playing Lunar Legend, but I've got to figure out where I am because it's been so long since I played it. I'm still doing the Pokemon hacks. I will do the hack sampler where I play one episode of each and I will eventually continue it. I am still continuing False Red. I want to beat it since the game basically is supposed to get better towards the end. Um, it's just a matter of leveling up my Pokemon so that I'm good enough, because I think I'm at, like, the second gym. I don't even know if I've gotten the second gym badge, but I think if I have, I already know I suck, and I need to get better. Um, and also, I am starting a new video for you guys, a new game, called Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. And this is a game that I own in real life. It's for the Game Boy Advance, and so I've had it since I was a kid. Um, and this is a game I've beaten before, and it's not easy but it doesn't take as long as some other games, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe, just, just, just maybe, that I can actually beat a game on my channel because it doesn't take that long, and maybe it's just something that I can stay interested in for like maybe two seconds so that maybe, just maybe, I can finish a video game on my YouTube channel. Um, let's see, N64 games are discontinued for now. And the reason for that is because my controller that I was using on my computer, it is currently still in Germany. Um, I moved away from Germany, I relocated to the US, which is another reason why I took hiatus. And now that I'm back in the US, I don't have the controller, so N64 games are gonna end. Video game creepy pastas, I still wanna do. I still wanna be able to do those for you. I still wanna be able to read those for you. Those seem to be really super popular. So I think that's something I should continue. Um, I actually think I'm probably gonna record one this week. And other than that, that's pretty much where that channel, where the channel's heading. It's just going to be what I want to record when I want to record it. Guild Wars is something that I'm really not sure about because um, this thing doesn't really do well with bigger screen games, and I'm worried about the quality because this is a lower quality video editor. Um, and we're getting into that really hard part of Guild Wars where, honestly, I'm not really going to be able to take it anywhere, I guess, if that makes sense. 
I'm not going to be able to um, get past certain areas because I'm on my secondary account where I don't have everything unlocked and I don't have the other versions of the game. So I'm not going to have the heroes necessary or anything to really make it past certain parts. So there's going to get a there's going to be a part where it's going to be incomplete anyways. There's never going to be a day where I'm going to beat this game for you unless literally I switch to my other characters and I show you the missions via my other characters. Um, so that's another thing that I've been fighting with because I could easily show you the rest of the story mode quests, like missions, with my character, and I could beat the game again with my main character. But as far as the secondary account, as far as the guy that we're playing now, um, you wouldn't be able to see any of the quests. You would only be able to see the missions. Um, you would be missing out on a huge chunk of the lore because you're not able to see any of that. And so it's like I'm kind of fighting of where I want to go with it. Same with Factions and same with Nightfall. I've not beaten either Factions or Nightfall with my main character. And she's the most powerful character I have. And she's kick-ass. And I'm stuck. So I can't even imagine playing that Necromancer and trying to make it, or I mean playing those other characters that I just started and trying to make it through this campaign because I don't know anything about being an elementalist and whatever the other girl was, I don't even remember. What, did I start like a dervish or something? Mm. I think I'm playing as a dervish and I don't know anything about being a dervish. So it's like, it's, it's all around a bad situation. So the Guild Wars thing, that's kind of more just for me. Um, that I was doing personally because I love that game, but as far as it continuing into something else, like, I doubt it. I highly doubt it's gonna go anywhere. Um, I'm still gonna be doing the retro games every once in a while. I honestly feel like I should play Kirby because I've beaten that game before. I should just go back to, like, little Game Boy Color games and do all that stuff because <laughs> I can at least beat those. I can at least do those. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much where this channel is heading. Again, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for being patient with me while I've been on hiatus. And hopefully I can start putting out good material for you guys. And I'm just glad that, you know, the that I have the 50-some subscribers, almost, almost 60 subscribers that I have. Um, I never knew I'd even get that many, so I appreciate it. And I hope that I can continue producing things for you that you'd like. And hopefully one day, you guys get to see awesome stuff like I just bought the Fallout Anthology for PC so hopefully I can start playing those types of games for you, get a good gaming controller and uh, I really just want to be able to show you guys some nice things and share my passion of video games with you even if I don't complete them so thank you all again and yeah I guess I'll see you guys and whatever comes next so alright hang in there and thanks for thanks for being here for me and for my channel so talk to you later, later. bye -ies.